Some would say my life is the perfect life. Some would go as far to say I'm one lucky guy. On this day, I can't disagree with them as I get to marry the love of my life. Bree, my high school crush. We've been through it all together. Our first kiss, our first love, our first breakup. <sighs> she is the love of my life and my best friend. Today is gonna be the happiest day of my life. Today, I marry the woman of my dreams. You ready for your big day? As ready as I'll ever be. I feel like I've been waiting for this day my entire life. I get what you mean. You guys have been through a ton together. Yeah, but yet the journey is just beginning. It's kind of crazy. How does she feel about the tour? Is she still nervous? I think she's more accepting of it now, and of course she's still nervous. Uh, but she's just happy we could get married before I have to leave. Well, I'm glad she's accepting of it. I wouldn't want to see you deny this opportunity. It's not every day you get selected by the president to become a guardian. Yeah, I know. And I think that's why she's so accepting. She knows that becoming a guardian of the galaxy is one of the biggest honors a guy in my career field could ever be offered. I just can't believe in three days we're going to be going to space. It, it's insane! Hey, well, we've been training our whole adult lives for it, though. I think we're ready to clean up the galaxy of all of its problems. You got that right. Put some of these alien criminals behind bars and stop galactic war. Keep Earth safe and the rest of the universe. It's a massive task, but I'm more than ready. Me too, bro. Me too. But I'll let you finish getting ready. I'll see you out there. Okay, uh, thanks, Carlson. I'll see you in a bit. Oh my god, I can't believe today I'm going to be getting married to the love of my life, Bree. <sighs> I couldn't ask for a better situation. The only bad thing is, in three days, I'm going to be shipping off, so it's going to be a very short honeymoon. <sighs> in three days' time, I'll be somewhere up there. Uh, not in the sky, but in space, making sure that our whole solar system, no, our whole universe, is safe. Being a guardian of the galaxy is a major honor, and there's only a few appointed every decade. And to be one of those guys that can serve our universe, it makes me extremely proud. And I'm just happy that Bree is so accepting, and that she's willing to let me go off to space and do my civic duty. I'm going to make Earth and the universe proud. I know it. But right now, i got to focus on making my future wife happy. So I better get down to the chapel, otherwise she's going to be mad if I'm late. Today's the day! I am so happy for you and Aviator! I'm just so lost right now. I'm so excited, I can't even think straight. You two literally are perfect for each other. And I know you're going to have an amazing life together. I just don't think I could be any happier right now. This day has been perfect, and it only just started. I'm just so happy you guys were able to go through your highs together and get through the lows. I truly know you guys are perfect for each other. This is the day that every girl dreams of since she's a little girl, and I'm about to live it. And I have you, my best friend here on my side. I love you so much, Amanda. It's because of you this day is even happening. Hey, I wasn't going to let you guys break up. Yes, space might be a dangerous place, but I know how smart Aviator is. He'll be back for you. Plus, being a guardian is so huge. You guys are going to have the perfect life because of it. Those guys are like royalty. Yeah. I guess I was just afraid of losing him, because our galaxy isn't a safe place. He'll make a ton of enemies out there, but like you said, he's smart, and he'll come back to me. Exactly! Now let's finish up your hair and get you married! <laughs> okay! Oh man, I think I'm like 30 seconds late! Uh, hopefully Bree's not down there before I am. That would be really embarrassing, but you know what? <clears throat> I look good, and I feel confident, and I'm so excited to move forward into marriage with... The, really, the one true love of my whole life, Bree. I can't believe this is happening. I, I never thought I'd be a guy to get married, and especially to Bree. We've had our ups, we've had our downs. We've been together, we've broken up, we've been together again, we've broken up again. We've had so many ups and downs, we're literally like a crazy roller coaster ride of relationship. But finally, we're tying the knot. I think we've worked out all the kinks, and we're gonna have a long life together. And I couldn't be much more happier. After college, I went on to become pretty much like an FBI operative. And after working for a couple of years in the FBI, now I'm moving on. And I'm becoming a guardian of the galaxy. Soon, I'll be defending the stars in space. And if I do well enough, one day we'll even have a space station house. And Bree can move up there with me. And we can visit Earth once in a while, visit our family, visit our friends. But soon our home will be up there in the stars. 
<sighs> but enough daydreaming. It's time to get married. I understand the two of you have prepared vows for each other. Let's start with you, Aviator. What are your vows to Bree? Thank you, sir. Uh, Bree, I, I vow to be the best me I can be. The best me for you. I promise to you that every day that we are married will be better than the last, as our love continues to grow day in and day out. I feel that today isn't just the start of our life together, but the start of my life, as the time spent before being with you was wasted time. I can't wait to call you my wife. That was beautiful. Now, Bree, what would you like to say to Aviator? My everything. That is how I could define you. Without you, I am nothing. But with you, we're one. Every second that passes with you is true bliss. And I couldn't dream of a better partner to go through life with. Amazing. Well, by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you both husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. I'm so happy. I love... What's happening? Why are the sirens going off? It's the Forbidden! Everyone, get down! Aviator, get your gun! I'm scared. Who are the Forbidden, honey? Stay right here, and keep your head down. I'll take care of this. Here, take my gun. I'll get everyone to safety. You need to take them out. Okay, hurry. Uh, get Bree to safety. I will. Don't worry about that. Oh my god, there's so many of them. There's so many of them. Carlson! Oh god, he's surrounded! Hey, get off of him! Bree, no! Get back! No! Oh god, what happened? All I remember was a bright flash of light and... And then wait! Oh no! The Forbidden! Where is everyone? Bree! Bree! Oh no, where's Amanda? Carlson! Anybody! Everyone's gone! The bright flash of light, it must have blacked me out! The Forbidden, what did I learn about them? In training, in training, think back! Uh, the Forbidden are, uh, well, forbidden. A forbidden species that was cooked up in some type of lab, I think? Oh, I can't remember, my brain feels all scrambled up! Oh god, Bree! Carlson! Man, where is everybody? What if they took my wife? What if... No, I don't want to think like that. Bree's probably fine. Carlson's probably with her, and, and he's keeping her safe. Oh my god. I gotta search for some type of evidence. I don't even know where the Forbidden are from. I'm gonna have to make my way back to headquarters and... And tell everyone about this. Oh god, there's one of them right now. Freeze! Freeze right there! I'm gonna blow your brains out! Now you talk to me. You tell me where my wife is and where my friends are! You're not gonna talk? Are you not gonna talk to me? Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, cause I'll do it! I'll do it! I'll do it! See? I'm serious! Oh god. No, wait, you're hacking my interface! What are you typing? Speak to you, I will not. I refuse to waste such effort on the likes of a species like you. Well fine, you won't talk to me, how about I make you? Not so fast, human. If you ever want to see your precious wife again, that is. God, what have you done with her? Tell me. That is, if she still exists, she may already be extinct. Oh, don't you dare laugh, I'll kill you if you lay one finger on her! Goodbye, Guardian. Goodbye. Wait, what? Oh my god, where did he go? Oh no, they must have some type of beaming homing device. Their ship's gotta be close by. It can't be more than one world away. Uh, and if, if, they, if they're homing people up to their ship, that means Bree and Carlson and Amanda could be up there. God, I guess it looks like I'm going back to the galaxy earlier than I thought. Three days. More like probably three hours. I gotta make my way to headquarters and... And tell him what happened. I have to save my wife. I can't live without her. We've made it through this much. There's no way I'm going to lose her now. Bree, I'm coming for you.
Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this brand new series that I just like worked so hard on. If you guys did, do not forget to destroy that like button for me and make your guesses down below in the comment section of what you think happened. What was that bright light and is Brie okay? But thank you guys so much for watching and also if you want to see more great videos like Minecraft Schools or anything else I uploaded right now on the screen, there's four other videos that you can browse through that I created that I think you might like. So feel free to check those out and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do. But thank you guys so much for watching, thank you so much for all the support, and I hope you guys are excited for this series. But until next time, remember to take it easy, live and squeezy.